hello everybody so it's been a while since i made a vlog video but i decided to make one today just because like i said it's been a while and i wanted to spread i don't know a little motivation on this tuesday so hopefully I don't jump all over the place, you know. It's coming to the end of my pregnancy. And um, I don't know, I, I kind of made this agreement with myself. Like when I had somewhat enough energy that I was going to do some self reflecting at the end <laughs> because I have a few more weeks left. Well, I got like a month left. So this is me. I'm going to do a motivational video. Um, I'm going to try to do two vlogs today. Um, one is going to talk about my son, of course. Uh, just his experience as far as us delivering the news that he was going to be a big brother. And even though he's pretty young, I feel like there's nothing wrong with preparing your children, you know. Um, but yes, yeah, so I wanted to do some self-reflecting. Here, you know, here it is at the at the end. I'm at the almost at the end of the road, and so let, we're gonna um, this one. Like I said, this video is gonna be about my son. The next video is gonna be about. Um, just some of the things that i dealt with during my pregnancy and i want to talk about it because i feel like not only is this something that i that i dealt with but maybe that you dealt with so i hope that somebody can relate to this these videos and um yeah and hopefully I don't jump all over the place because I do that sometimes. But, um, so let's talk about, um, us breaking the news to my son. Who, he just turned four. That he was going to be a big brother. Of course, you know, it's like, oh, you know, you're going to be a big brother. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And, um... I get, I mean, some people would say, oh, he's too young to understand, blah, 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 you know. But I feel like kids, even though they're young, they know what's, they, first of all, they're already absorbing everything around them. They're already absorbing everything around them. So I feel like any type of change, they'll notice, especially when they're used to a certain routine first of all we're already in a pandemic so his routine changed because you know he does speech therapy during the week he does occupational therapy and he does he does these therapies during the week so he already had switched to zoom therapy which by now i'm sure everybody knows what zoom therapy is so anyways, you know, we're like, hey, you're going to be a big brother, blah, 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 blah. Which actually, um, I I got my ultrasound pretty early with this pregnancy because um, they, they um, I don't know. I don't know if they just do it differently here in Hawaii, but my, but the doctor I go to, I got my, in which they actually did a vaginal ultrasound which we're all adults here you know vaginal ultrasound that's what it sounds like i'm not gonna go into detail but i mean i'm sure you can put the pieces together because the baby of course if they would have tried to do it on my uterus like through my you know they do it on your stomach then they do it um they look at your uterus the baby would have been too small to see at the time so anyways 
So we told him, hey, you're going to be a big brother, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, he does his own thing. So he, um, we kind of laughed at the picture because he, he looked at it like, oh, what is this? <laughs> what is this? And we're like, it's a baby. <laughs> and so anyways, um, over time, like I said, some people might say, oh, he doesn't. Oh, he's too young, you know, what's going on, whatever, whatever. But, you know, I kind of, I beg to differ. Because with me, I was pretty, pretty sick this pregnancy. I was pretty, pretty sick with him. So I started getting sick early on and um i feel like this with this pregnancy my uh, my morning sickness was kind of a little bit worse so and i was more exhausted so he you know he eventually he picked up on that and you know i kind of it's like i kind of started to beat myself up about it because I was just like oh you know I felt bad <laughs> I, and to be honest I don't know why I felt bad I guess it was just because it was just like I already know that he's doing therapy and that he needs a lot of our attention and stuff like that but and I, and I kind of like beat myself up about it in the beginning and um I don't know I might cry you know my hormones are all over the place but neither here nor there but you know I kind of beat myself up about it because I was like oh you know he already needs you know he already has these therapies you know we have to work with him and so I kind of beat myself up about it but you know kids they know that we love them you know they they know that we're doing the best we can if you're doing the best if you're actually a good parent and you're doing everything that you can do actually your kids they will see that i don't care what nobody says i don't care how young they are i don't care how old they are if you're doing the best you can as a parent kids your that will reflect on your children so anyways so funny thing was um he his his sleep schedule changed and it's still it's still not quite the same so we're like he's preparing us he's preparing us he knows something's up he knows something's up because he wakes up every night he wakes up every night at 3 a.m 3 a.m and he you know he didn't it's like he didn't want to sleep in his room anymore all of a sudden which he had been doing that for a while you know he had been sleeping by himself for a while and um you know at first we were just like well you know maybe it's this maybe it's that but over time me and my husband we just came to the conclusion like he's just preparing us for this baby <laughs> he's just preparing us we're not gonna get any sleep <laughs> and i said well we're not gonna get any sleep anyway because when you become a parent i just feel like sleep goes out the window like it really does maybe when they become teenagers but i don't know i don't really sleep through throughout the night anymore so whatever but he was his sleep schedule changed so he was back sleeping in the bed with us and i was just like oh my gosh you know like i need we need to fix this we need to fix this because you know the baby's gonna be in our room and then you know like she's gonna be in here and then sometimes at night time he doesn't go right back to sleep and you know we just didn't want him to wake him to wake her up her to wake him up so we're just like we gotta we gotta figure this out so we we started we started sleeping in the room with him we got it we had we got an air mattress and then we started sleeping in the room with him but then when i got further along i'm like bro my back can't take this so he, you gonna have to sleep in there with him and i'm just gonna sleep in the room and then like now sometimes he sleeps with me in here 
or he sleeps with my husband in his room. And so, cause he, he didn't want to sleep in his bed anymore, his toddler bed. But if my husband's in the room with him, he'll sleep with him on the air mattress cause he likes to sleep under his parents, which, you know, kids love their parents or whatever. And then I feel like another reason was he not, I feel like he started avoiding me almost <laughs> like, and I, I, I don't think it was just necessarily avoiding me. I think it was just, he's just like, I know mommy's not feeling well. Like I know she's not feeling well. So I'm just going, to, I felt like he was like almost giving me my space. Cause it was like, you know, before and boys, they're mama's boys. So he's usually always up under me. You know, I joke with my husband. I say, he's my, I'm the favorite. And I'm sure she'll be, he'll be her fit, you know, cause girls, they're a daddy girl. They're a daddy's girl. So I'm sure she'll prefer daddy over, I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, he is a mama's boy. He loves me. So of course my hormones kicking in and I'm like, oh God. I feel so bad because he doesn't want to be up under me anymore. <laughs> and I was just like, I felt so bad because I was like, he doesn't want to be up under me anymore. Like, you know, I just really, and to be honest, like, even though I was, um, I'm um, emotional this pregnancy, I was way emotional in my first pregnancy. This pregnancy, I'm just cranky, just cranky, just cranky. It's better now now that I'm further along and I and I feel somewhat better but who the wrath the wrath this pregnancy has been off the chain but yeah so he was kind of avoiding me like oh I know mommy doesn't feel well stuff like that but now now that mommy can do a little bit more a little bit more he he's starting to come back to me you know come back around me and it's so funny because you know my belly's bigger and uh, he just kind of stares at me sometimes like <laughs> and I just always get a laugh with that like he just kind of like stares he's like something you know you look a little different <laughs> and another way that I we kind of prepared him you know, I, you know, I put his hands on my belly. I say, baby, 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 point in my stomach, baby. There's a baby, you know. Always let him know, because he loves to, like, go in the closet. He'll see, he'll, he sees her stuff. And I'm like, you gotta leave your little sister stuff alone. You know, like, we let him know, like, oh, your little sister, your little sister, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Stuff like that. I feel like just letting him know is, you know, that's your way of preparing him. Um, one of my friends also suggested is like you can get, that I could get like a doll or something like that. And just hold it and be like, you know, baby, 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 baby. Which was a really, really good idea because, you know, kids with autism anyway, they're, they're good visual learners. So just seeing me do that can prepare him but um even when i didn't do that i'm always like baby baby i'm always letting him like if he's if he's wanting to get on me be careful be careful you know just just letting him know but i don't know i think that he's i'm interested to see how he is when she gets here um but yeah, I, I I think that he's prepared. It was a little struggle in the beginning, <laughs> just because of my morning sickness and stuff like that. Like, it, I mean, yeah, it was a struggle. But you know, now it's the end. It's coming to the end, and I'm excited to see how she's gonna be with him. How he's gonna be with her. So, I will 
try to make another vlog video i went a long time without doing one so um and then i'm gonna try to do one just kind of talking about his speech progress hi buka talking about his speech progress because he has made a lot of progress and so i'm excited and i will see y'all later yes.